campers. Today I have a very extra second hand haul for you. Some of my clothes come from online second hand auction sites like eBay or Depop or Spock, if that's still a thing. It sounds like you're saying you've just bought the list. Um, and then some of them come from charity shops or discount retailers, things like that. I think I've even bought a few bits and bobs from car boot sales, but that must have been quite a long time ago. So anyhow, there's a rather large pile of clothes that I have to get through. Um, so yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get down to the showing and trying. So first up, I have a pair of trousers from H&M. Now, well, they were originally from H&M. I didn't actually buy them from H&M. These were secondhand from eBay. They still have the tags on them though. So obviously someone had bought them and never worn them. Um, and they're like real leather. These were a bargain. These were like 99p with free postage. I mean like proper leather. I mean, I think, I know that these trousers aren't for this season, but last season's leather trousers sold for about £120 each brand new if you bought them in store. So I was like, wow, that's a bargain for like proper leather trousers for 99p and free postage. That's quite something. Let's, yeah. Let's try them on and see how well they fit. So these trousers have zips in the bottom and acting pockets in the front and in the back and they've got properly fully lined and the lining in these is so soft. It's so soft, so soft and soft and soft. Oh, I actually love the feeling of the lining. It's like almost velvety, velvety suede kind of thing. It's really soft. So they're, hopefully they're going to be quite comfy for me to wear. These are the leather trousers. As you can see, I like quite like the fit of them. They're not too big and they're not too small. They've got quite like a lower waist than I'm used to. So they're not like high waisted like up here, like I'm used to wearing trousers. But they fit quite well on my hips all the same. Um, they, they are actually really soft inside to wear. They're so soft and comfy. I like these. I like them a lot. I can just, when I know like I walk, I can feel like the velvet against my legs and it's like, oh, so soft, so soft. But, um, they fit quite well around my ankles as well. I'm quite short, I'm five foot two, so um, usually I have to roll things up at the bottom, but these are quite fine. They sit just, just about just right on my ankles. And I thought they'd squeak a bit when I moved, but they don't, which is good. Because that's one thing I hate is, is the sound that squeaking of leather or latex or ugh. Um, I think I give these about a 9 out of 10. I'm very happy. I love these. I would wear them every day. My second thing is a little top. As you can see, it's quite see-through. I mean, if I look through that, I can see you. Hello. <laughs> it's a nice pretty blue colour. And then the back is literally, you sort of wrap it over at the back and do the buttons up at the top on the collar, wrap it over at the back and then there's like tie things for you to tie it with. This top again came from eBay, it's originally ASOS, I've never actually had clothes from ASOS before before I bought this top, um, I think I paid like a fiver for it again with free postage so that's not too bad. It looks like it's going to be nice for the summer this, although I think I will probably wear a top underneath it because it is so see-through. This is the ASOS top, the wrap around your back thingy. As you can see, quite see through. I mean, white t shirt on underneath because you can literally see straight through it. I wouldn't be a thing I wore outside at all without a top on underneath. Um, yeah, it wraps around alright, sits well over my hips. The sleeves are like quite long, quite long. Well, not long in the sense that they're over the end of my arms, but long in the sense that these bits are quite long which kind of makes you feel like I'm a bit, a bit of a flappy bird, but it's okay. This top is like really lightweight and really comfy, so it will be great for summer if I want like a little thing to 
throw over the top of the vest top to stop my arms or my shoulders from getting burnt while on holiday. And uh, as you can see the back, you can sort of like wrap it and tie it. You can see. And, uh, yeah, I actually quite like it. It fits really well. Um, I think it gives this, again, give it a nine. Taking the point off of just how see-through it is. I like the colour of it as well. It's such a nice bright sapphire kind of blue. It's something that I could dress up or dress down, casual, going out kind of thing. So yeah, I really like this. Next item also came from eBay. I've been doing quite a lot of work on eBay, it seems. <laughs> um, it's a Necessary Evil jacket. This one isn't actual proper leather, it's just like old fake leather, leatherette, vegan leather type of material. And it's a short little jacket. This one was already pre-worn, so it wasn't brand new with tags on. And there are a couple of little marks on the underneath, but that is a really massive, I can always polish those out. So it's a cute little crop leather jacket with floppy little sleeves. So I thought this would be great for the summer where I don't want to wear like my full proper leather jacket. Um, yeah, so let's try it on and see how well it fits. This is a necessary evil jacket. I've just thrown it on, on the top of the trousers and the top of the eye I've got on already. Um, yeah, I quite like this jacket. It's quite, quite flexible, can move around in it quite well. Um, it's got little slits here for my arms, for the elbows, when I bend them. Um, I can do it up. Um, the collar's like not too sticky up here or anything. It does have like these little flappy capey bits here, which I was I thought were like attached to it when I was looking at it in the pictures. Obviously not. I suppose I could have went attached them with some um, press studs if necessary, just stick them on and whatever. And um, yeah, I quite like it. I like how how it sits like directly on my waist, so it sits like right above the hem and where my trousers are. Um, yeah, so I like this. The only downside is that there are some marks on it that I can see. Hopefully, I'll be able to get them out with a little bit of shoe polish or leather paint or something, cover them over if uh, absolutely necessary. Because I kind of I can kind of see it just looks like where the zips caught them. But yeah, it's lightweight, it's a nice jacket, and I'm looking, looking forward to wearing it in the summer or while going out. Next item is also from eBay. I do quite a lot of eBay shopping, <laughs> clearly. And um, yeah, it's a long dress. I bought this as one of the potential dresses that I could wear for my graduation but in the end decided to wear something completely different as sometimes happens but because this dress is made out of this meshy chiffony type of material I kept it because I thought it would be great for um, summertime I think I wore it to Western Air Day um, one June and it was great for something on the beach on it's a full length long dress but that day it was incredibly hot so it kept me quite cool it has got like half the lining underneath there's a slit up the side and there's like a little bit of a little like halfy bit of lining on the underneath which hopefully should come down to my knees we hope but yeah. it has got little panels on it as well little meshy panels on the side yeah so we'll try it on and see how it looks yeah, I give this an 8 out of 10. So this is the long H&M dress. Um, yeah, I quite like how this fits as well. It fits quite well. The little bit of stretch to the fabric, which means that it fits my chest okay. It doesn't seem to like gape too much or leave too much spinning out. Um, again, this is a great one for summer. I could quite happily go out in this dress, partying, barbecuing. Maybe even if I decided to go out for a drink at like the pub, which is like something I never do. Um, yeah, I do really like this. I like the lightness of the fabric and I like how it moves when I walk. Like it just sits on either side of this so you can sort of see with a meshy bit. And there's like an underlining that comes down just, just above my knees. So yeah, I quite like it. 
Now my next item came from a charity shop. It came from my local cancer research charity shop, of which there are two, three in my town, don't I? So I was in there one day having a browse after donating some items and I found this jumpsuit. It's got lacy sleeves and like a little choker neck thingy going on and it's got pockets as well. I mean, I could put my fingers in my pockets and it's great. Right, okay. It does feel a bit on the stretchy side. The material does feel quite cheap and a bit icky. And it is unbranded, like there's not like any kind of branding or any kind of tags on it. So I'm not quite sure where this originally came from. But there we go. Let's try it on and see what it looks like. So this is a jumpsuit thing that didn't have any tags on and was unbranded and quite honestly I think it's the kind of thing, cheapy thing you buy off of like eBay or Wish, you know like the Wish side of eBay because I mean it doesn't, it fits my legs okay and my arms okay but the material just feels very cheap, I mean this feels like a pair of curtains that someone had dyed black, I mean honestly neck curtains is yeah. And like it doesn't fit very well up on the top look so if, if I'm not like leaning back slightly and I lean forward uh, uh, yeah it kind of like falls and it's like oh yeah that's not good thank god I've got a bra on underneath it it just doesn't seem to fit very well the token looks fine though that does fit okay I think it's about the one thing on here that does kind of fit okay but yeah it's not great not the best thing I think this would be the kind of thing that I bombed on eBay pretty quickly because it's, it's just not going to work for me I'm afraid. 4 out of 10. My next item again is a dress but this one it's a little, little bit shorter so it's more like knee length than full length and it's got long sleeves with little tie bits on and ooh, <laughs> on the back it's got a little button and little like keyhole kind of detail on the back. This one was originally from H&M and I bought it not from H&M but from my local air ambulance shop so for the Warwickshire and Northamptonshire air ambulance. Yeah I quite like this it's like really silky shiny material I mean I saw this in H&M um, on, on their online site and in store and it retailed for like £40 originally so I was like oh this is an absolute bargain and we're going to get a lot of wear out of this dress because it's kind of I can dress it up or I can dress it down and I thought well it's a versatile little black dress to actually have in my wardrobe particularly as the dresses I'd had were kind of not really my style had grown out of and didn't fit very well anymore so let's try it on and see what it looks like this is the little black H&M dress um, I like the feel of the fabric. It's really, really soft and silky, like a satiny, silky kind of material. Um, I quite like this, but I think it fits me slightly odd. So my body shape, I've got quite a narrow waist, but then I've got quite wide hips in relation to my tiny waist. But it seems to fit quite on top really well, which I kind of wasn't expecting. I tend to find that things don't quite fit okay on top because I'm quite large chested. Um, but yeah, it seems to be this little bit here. You can sort of see how it doesn't quite hang right. Um, yeah, not quite sure, but I'll see what I can do to fix that. It might just be a case of when it's been manufactured, there's been a couple of stitches in the wrong place and you want the case of just pulling those out. But I quite like the ties on the wrists. I think they're quite cute. And I quite like the, the tie thingy around the waist as well, like from the back kind of see the little detail which I think is probably covered by my hair which you can see the little back detail and the button yeah I quite like this and it's got pockets as well they're not very good pockets but they're kind of pockets all the same and pockets in a dress are pockets in a dress it doesn't really matter I've got somewhere to stash something if I wear it out so I'll probably get this one about seven Again, because of the fit, and I think it's more the lining actually. When I'm moving around, this sort of seems to flow quite freely, but the lining underneath it doesn't. So 
I think it's more an issue with the lining than anything else. I probably could take it out and then just wear a pair of shorts underneath it and I don't think it'll be that bad, but there we are. Yeah, okay. Seven out of ten. My next item is another little black dress. I bought this to wear to a Star Trek convention when I went and met Marina Sirtis, but that weekend it decided to snow and hail, so I ended up in jumper and trousers. But I kept the dress again because <laughs> I figured that it would be alright for summer. It's quite lightweight, it's made up of like lots of different layers of mesh, so you've got, got this thinner lining and then this slightly thicker cottony lining underneath it. It was originally from H&M and I picked this up again from the Cancer Research charity shop, so yeah, I figured I quite like this. It's quite similar to the um, full length dress that I've got in the sense that it's got a sweetheart neck and it's got meshy bits on, but it's a lot shorter and it doesn't have the panels in the sides. Let's try it on and see what it looks like. This is a little, little black H&M dress with the little mesh on it. Again, this would be absolutely great for summer. I can imagine going for barbecues and stuff in this in the summer. I quite like how the mesh is being cut as well, like with the little sweetheart neck. It shows a bit without showing too much and it kind of flies my bra as well. I know you can see like a little bit of it peeking out over the top, but that's fine. I like how it fits as well, fits on the body and then flares out over my hips. It makes my figure look really, really like kind of hourglassy and nice, which I kind of like. And I like the length of it as well. Like sometimes um, mini length is a bit short or too long on me, depending on which size of clothes I buy. And again, because I'm quite short, so it can, it can be more knee length than anything else. Um, yeah, I quite like this. And I like the fact that a poofy little skirt. <laughs> it's nice, it's lightweight, and it'll be ideal for summer. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. I probably give this a 9 out of 10. My next dress is this long, red, like, chevron-y pattern material dress that was originally from H&M. I bought this because um, I was after a Halloween costume in the style of Villanelle from Killing Eve and I thought, well, wow, this dress is quite extra. It's quite, quite low cut. There's a very high slit in it. And um, I figured, yeah, it was quite Villanelle. It's the kind of thing that Villanelle would wear. I was like, yeah, so I picked it up for that reason. So as I was saying, this dress is originally from H&M. It is, um, I believe Katy Perry designed it for her collection One Christmas. I have no idea on the exact details of that, but yeah. And it's got a little tassel belt on it that you could pull in and a zip on the side. And it's quite like floaty and wafty and there's quite a high slit in it. It almost seems to go right up to the waist, which is a bit ooh. So we'll try it on and see what it looks like. This is the Villanelle style dress. Yeah, even with it on, I can quite clearly see Villanelle waltzing around the house or something like this. It's kind of her kind of style. <laughs> um, yeah, one thing I wasn't expecting though is these like mesh panels that run down the inside of the arm. I thought it would be this kind of chevroni material all over their arms, but it, it's not. You can actually like see my tattoos through it. Um, no biggie, no big deal, but that's not really something I was expecting. Um, I think this needs a belt. Personally, on my figure, it just sort of seems to hang a little bit loose. I mean, for, for like a summer's day, it feels like lounging around in the garden, being extra on, the, on like a sun lounger or on the decking or on the airbed, turning the cat off it. Maybe it would be fine, but if I was going out in it, I'd definitely wear a belt because I just feel a bit shapeless in it. A bit lost in the shape. It's a little bit low cut for me as well. I mean, it's a wet. But whether I could like, adjust it, put some little stitchy bits in here so it's not quite so low cut, I probably could sort it out that way. But yeah, other than that, it seems okay. It's an okay kind of dress. I quite like it. It'd be great for a Halloween costume if I was being Villanelle, wanted to be very, very extra, very, very like fashionable like Villanelle is so yeah I'd wear it and it's also be great for Christmas as well because it's that kind of Christmassy colour I know Christmas is like months and months and months away like 10 months away but who cares uh, not me um, can we give this an 8 out of 10 
My next dress is this short black little number. Um, I bought this to go clubbing with when I was at university. I didn't go clubbing very often. That's what gets to nine o'clock and I want a cup of tea and to go to bed rather than spending a night out on the tiles. So yeah, this is the little dress. It's quite low cut and then it's got these like elasticated straps and if you turn it round you can sort of see it's backless. I believe the straps are supposed to be in the shape of a star, but obviously you can't quite see that at the moment. But you should be able to see it when I put it on. And the front of it is quite short. And you can see it's got a little slit in the bottom on the front. Usually there's like slits in the backs of things that I buy, so to have one with the front slit in is quite different for me. Uh, this material is quite stretchy and it's sort of like shaped and because I'm quite big chested I'm kind of hoping that these like little boob cups are like gonna fit. Just put it on and see what it looks like. This is the uh, going out your clubby kind of dressy that was originally from Misguided. Uh, I'm not so sure about this one. Obviously I know that some people that go clubbing don't like to wear an awful lot but I feel kind of a bit naked. Like, I mean, the front panel especially, I mean, look, look at that, it's kind of, I'm used to having clothes here, so being like this exposed is kind of a bit, ugh. I'd definitely sort of have to wear fabric tape sort of sticking it to my body afterwards, because it's kind of a bit, uh, yeah, I could be in danger of falling out of this if I made a wrong move. It is a, as well a bit low cut, and I don't think my boobs sit in quite the right place, I'd probably have to get some like tape Take them up like underneath my chin or something stupid like that. Um, I like the skirty bit though. I like, like the slit in the skirt and I like how the skirt moves. Uh, the material does feel a bit cheap but it is quite thick and it does kind of move. It's kind of quite slinky. And then on the back, it's supposed to be a star pattern but it doesn't really seem to stay put on my back. It all sort of seems to move around a little bit. But um, I don't think you'd notice it too much, especially not with like, how long my hair is. So if my hair was like on the back, you wouldn't really see it anyway. So not really too much of an issue. Yeah, I think for clubbing and whatever, if I was going like into Fever or any of the other local clubs like Potwell, it'd do for a uni student. It'd do, but I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely going to freeze if I went out in this and clubbing in this in the middle of winter. So. Yeah, I'll probably give it about 7 out of 10. It might just be something that ends up being sold back on eBay again, so yeah, whatever. Now my next dress was purchased off of eBay. This was um, a dress that I picked up. It was kind of a, a running joke amongst the um, staff while on my degree, the forensic staff, that I was kind of like Abby Shuto out of NCIS, so I picked up this dress for the for one of their club nights. Um, yeah, this dress was originally from Restyle, very much in the style of Abby Shuto. It's got proper wired cups on it, a zip that goes all the way down the front, mesh panels on the front. I think this style of dress was the um, future goth dress from. Um, Restyle, so yeah, it's quite the stretchy fabric at the bottom, quite thick and stretchy, and it just seems to crease all the time. Like, even while, while here, you wouldn't think I'd like steamed it and it'd been hung in the wardrobe ever since. It's kind of like all catching and whatever while it's stuck here. I'm gonna put it on and see what it looks like. So, this is what it looks like on obviously, the skirt's all wrinkled at the bottom. Um, I would have ironed it, but it's like stretchy spandexy materially type thing so I can't really iron it without melting it. I did steam it but it doesn't seem to have made a lot of difference. Hopefully hanging it in my wardrobe will kind of help but yeah I mean that's what it says on the tin really. Unfortunately these cups don't really fit I think my boobs are slightly too heavy for the wires because they sort of bent <laughs> and um, I think they're a bit too big for them as well but I don't really think you can tell and obviously there's the meshy bits at the top of the cups and I go over to my shoulders. It does nip in at the waist a little bit. Obviously the dress looks a slightly funny shape with <laughs> these bends and creases and things. But other than that, it looks okay. I mean, 
with a lab coat on over the top, I definitely probably would look like Abby Shuto, especially if my hair was up in pigtails. So it does the job, I mean, doesn't it really? I'll probably give it about a 6 out of 10. It definitely wouldn't be something that I wore every single day of the week. But yeah, for what I bought it for, it's okay. And for second hand, even better. Now my last dress is a very, very, very sparkly, very pretty little little black number. I bought this for like informal little party style thingies for when I want a nice dress to wear. But it's not formal, but at the same time you don't want to wear like a clubbing, proper clubbing going out kind of dress. So I bought this one. At the time I bought this dress, I had bright blue hair. I will post a picture somewhere here where you can see that I had bright blue hair while wearing this dress. And I love this dress. Um, I picked this one up from a charity shop again. I can't remember which one, but I didn't pay very much for it. Um, material is quite stretchy, like you can see it's stretchy and the outside of it feels coated, like a waxy kind of coating, and you can, as you can hear. I mean, it's quite a bit of noise, but it's it's so sparkly. I mean, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but there's like green and silver and red and blue and purple bits of shininess on it. And it's a sweetheart neck and straps here, cross over at the front. Um, so yeah, we'll pop it on and see how it looks. So this is the collective shiny, shiny, it's called the Penny Vegas dress. Um, it is so, so, so super shiny. I mean, well, it's so shiny and it's all, it makes a lot of noise though when you move around in it. It sounds a little bit like bin liners when I was trying to walk in it. It does that kind of bin linery kind of sticking together. But yeah, I really like this. It, it like fits well. I can feel that it fits well. It's kind of like a glove. It sits nicely on my waist. Like, it fits okay up here. I mean, I think these traps would do with being a little bit more up here, but I think that's more me than anything else. I mean, for a party or going out to the club night, this is ideal. I mean, I'd wear this every day of the week. It's stretchy, so it stretches with my movements. And if I was to eat anything, it's stretched according to that. So I could wear it out for dinner somewhere, which would be great. Um, yeah, so. I give this one a 9 out of 10. My next little second hand dress is a long formal evening gowny type of dress. Um, I bought this to wear to the Chancellor's Ball at university because I needed an evening dress that fitted and I didn't actually have anything suitable. Um, I've reworn this since, I reworn this to my uncle's wedding a few weeks ago and I absolutely love this dress. It's, I, I do love it, it makes me feel really good to wear. It's really thick, nice velvet, it's got glittery stars on it, it's got such a nice shape and it fits me really, really well. Um, it is quite low cut though, always leaves me sort of worried that I'm going to accidentally fall out of it. But yeah, I'll put it on and then uh, see how it fits. So this is the second hand evening gown, again it's by Collective and I think it's the Lyra maxi dress from the research I've done online. This is the one that I wore to my uncle's wedding and to a evening -y function and I do love it. I like the way it hangs, the way it sits, the way it feels to wear. Like This would be ideal to wear in either summer or winter because of the thickness of the fabric. It's warm for winter but it could probably keep me cool in the summer as well. And I like how shiny all these stars are. I mean, look, you can see. The only downside to this that I've noticed is that dust likes to collect on it, which means I have to sit there with a the loop roller rolling it all off, and it knocks off a lot of the glitter. I was quite nervous as well because it's quite low cut and I don't tend to wear low cut things, especially not without a bra on. But this seems okay. It's not too bad. There isn't too much movement going on, which means that things are being held in place, which is okay. Which is good. I just like how it fits. It's like that classic movie star kind of figure, like 30s, 40s, vintage style. And I really, really like it. I know it's a bit looks a bit long on me, but if I've got heel shoes on, whether they're little heels or barbecue heels like my Louboutins, they'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs>
I'll manage. I mean, even in flats, I think I'd get away with it just, just the way the material flows. But there we are. I give this dress a 9 out of 10. I absolutely love it. I don't really want to take it off either. I just wear this for the rest of the video. Now, my final two items are shoes. I have a, bit, a little bit of a thing about shoes. If you watch my intro video, you'll know that I was talking about the Reputation Regular Choice shoes that I wear and the shoes that I used to wear when I was um, doing my forensics course. But yeah, um, these shoes were off of eBay. Cost me quite a little, quite a bit of money, about £120 I think, but I saved up for them. I was adamant that I had to have a pair like these. These are Christian Louboutin Bianca shoes. Um, and I absolutely had to have a pair of them because they are the shoes that River Song wears in Doctor Who in the episodes with the Weeping Angel. What are they called? Time of Angels and Flesh and Blood. Series Time of Angels, five, Flesh and Blood. Episodes four and five. So they're pretty huge, hello sweetie kind of shoes. Um, they're a lovely, lovely, lovely deep red colour. Obviously you can tell they've been previously worn, like the sole's a bit worn, the bit battered on the end and they're a bit scuffed, but it's cheaper than buying them brand new um, and I can quite easily get them fixed. So let's uh, try these on and see what they look like on. So on my feet currently are the Louboutin shoes. I'm not quite used to walking in them yet and obviously because they've been worn by somebody else the wear patterns are slightly different to mine so their wear pattern was more on the inside of the shoe whereas mine would be more on the outside and they're actually quite comfortable to walk in um, usually I don't wear heels like this very well at all stiletto heels because I put most of the weight out through the heel of my foot so I'm kind of having to bear this a little bit but they feel quite comfy I mean, I don't usually wear ones with like a pointed toe like these because they tend to squish my toes and it's quite painful. However, these ones actually aren't too bad considering I sort of went half a size down. Usually I'm a size five, but these are a size um, four and a half. So I took a bit of a gamble. Hopefully after I've had them on all day, my feet aren't going to be like mega, mega swollen and like not be able to fit in them, but we shall see. Um, I'm quite impressed with these, I think I'll probably give them a 7 out of 10. Now my last pair of shoes were also from eBay and they arrived um, a few weeks ago I think. I paid about £100 for these as well and when the post lady opened the door and passed them to my younger brother he nearly dropped them because they're rather heavy. They are the Bowman and H&M shoes. Um, <laughs> Let that sink in for a minute. I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I like to spend quite a bit on my shoes, but hey, hopefully they'll last me a few years of very good wear. So inside the Great Recruit box, there's a dust bag. And I can actually smell like new leather, new suede. In here are suede shoes. Look at those, look, with the little toe cap on, the gold toe cap. And then all the buckles. These buckles are like they need a little bit of a polish, but there we go. I can do that, there's no problem. There's a dip down the back for my rather large ankles to fit in. And yeah, these were actually brand brand new, so they're not previously worn, brand brand new, as you can tell by the fact the sole is like literally unused. And I'm always in a pair of boots in the winter, like I'm never ever ever without them. And I've got one pair of suede boots with a little heel on it and I thought I really 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 want another pair because my favourite pair of suede shoes which are the only ones that I happen to have are about had it so to replace them I bought these and hopefully they will last me a bit longer than a couple of years. Let's try them on and see how they look. Well we're not live but you know what I mean. So these are the H&M and Bowman shoes. These are actually quite wide on my feet. Um, especially around the ankles and like actually inside as well. These are a size 38 which I believe is about equivalent to a UK size 5 which I usually am so 
yeah I'm quite it means I can like wear big thick socks with them in winter and it means that my slightly wider left foot isn't kind of squished by the narrowness of the shoes but they do feel quite comfy the only downside is on this carpet I can literally slide my foot forward because the sole is so smooth there is the tiniest bit of grip on the ankle which obviously on the ankle on the heel which kind of stops it but if it's just, it's just so slippy I mean I couldn't wear these out, out in snow I think because I just slip straight over on like the ice but yeah I'm actually quite looking forward to wearing these out and getting a lot of wear out of them they do make a jingly noise and I walk this is kind of sounds like I've got bells stuck around my ankles but I absolutely love these I give these a 9 out of 10 Jingle bells. Done. So that was my very extra second-hand try-on haul. Um, yeah, mostly dresses, mostly dresses. Um, but then again, it is very extra. I mean, the clue is kind of in the title as to what I'd be doing. Um, yeah, a few things to watch out for though when you are doing online shopping. It's and if you're shopping for a label, it's to beware of fakes. Um, the Lee Boutins that I had were actually the second pair that I bought. The first pair that I bought, um, I sort of scrutinised the photos very, very carefully. Um, thought, oh, okay, they're, they're all right. But when they arrived, opened the box, there was a Chinese import label stuck on the side of it. And I thought, uh, yeah, these aren't real, they're fakes. Um, picked up the shoes, took a closer look at them, realised, yeah, they definitely are fake. There's like tabs where they ought not to be that logo on the bottom isn't right, the sole isn't right. It was such a shame really, but fortunately I was able to send them back and get a refund. It's not a nice situation to be in though, and that's obviously something you've got to be aware of if you're buying brands and labels and things. Another thing to be aware of is damaged clothes, damage to um, seams and things. Perhaps that you've, um, you might not be able to spot it in the, in the photographs so sometimes seams can pop and rip and then it's not always obvious in the photographs that there are holes and things. Um, another thing as well is sizing. Um, if you're buying something that's euro size only so um, like euro size 34 it's um, you you might think that oh yeah that will fit me um, but if you're not used to buying euro sizes alone without their UK equivalent, you probably go, eh, what's that? I'm not quite sure. And sometimes online size guys aren't 100% correct. And sometimes the Euro sizes don't exactly go into UK sizes. I've found this before with Belgian sizes when I was um, in Eep and I was looking at like all the nice little coats that they've got over there to replace my winter coat. And I was like, oh yeah, like, thinking, oh yeah, Euro, the, the size on them is obviously a Euro size. Picked up one that was a 34 and yeah, did not fit me at all. It was far too small. So that's something else to be aware of, is that some countries have their own sizes which look like Euro numbers, but they're actually not. They're slightly bigger or slightly smaller than the standard Euro sizing. So have you had any bargains from online shopping? Um, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you like this video and you'd like to see more of this kind of thing. And don't forget to say hi in the comments. See you soon. Bye.